even the youth name has street names say sometimes boss that you even to try to see if think you 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 like you this that they been through then they, when they're 15 or 16 now then they try boss we don't we don't go through then they. And nobody want to really teach them that boy this that that he was once a key figure in the george street gang but for the past years elwin Bubba lewis has been working to keep youth in his community off the streets unfortunately however on friday evening Lewis became a victim of the gun violence he sought to end. Around 4.45, a lone gunman targeted the 44-year-old as he was leaving a store in Antelope Street. Assistant Commissioner of Police, Heliberto Romero, says Lewis was ambushed after going to the area to cash a check. Investigation revealed that Lewis was riding a motorcycle in front of Gwenlis when he was approached by a person who fired several shots towards his direction, causing his fatal injuries. Uh, no one has been arrested or charged for this crime. Several persons are in custody and the investigation continues. He was there uh, doing some transactions and when he was heading back, he was targeted uh, while he was on his motorcycle. Baba was no stranger to the news and had been charged on several occasions in the past. However, in recent years, Lewis began working with the Leadership Intervention Unit and the Love Foundation. In 2021, he joined the Love Foundation's Empowering Community to Empowering Themselves initiative and established a community hub in the George Street area. Bobo, as we affectionately call him and as he was known, um, was one of the first people who came to the table with the Love Foundation when we decided to embark on the idea of um, empowering communities to empower themselves. As we evolve on certain things and, you know, me myself, I don't understand. I know discipline and different things. I know I know go for certain things. Although I end up yaso and involved in a certain thing that than ever my life or dig miss deb. That than ever if you well, may know me if you may know me like sixteen or, or seventeen years ago, you may I wanna know how I end up to be this person you know, in all of the and now, but then like I tell you where I born I grow yeah, and uh, close people where I, can't couldn't just watch them just and I try try that. Managing director of the Love Foundation, Deborah Erskine, says Lewis spent most of his time at the greenhouse on Blue Street, working with at risk youth and leading them to live a positive life. He had property up in Harmonyville, so he would plant his seedlings on Blue Street and transplant them to Harmonyville. He also worked with the children in the community. They would often come and he would teach them about plants and how to take care of them. He created his own concoction, which was a uh, um, environmentally friendly um, pesticide that he used, right? And he was very proud of that. He kept it in a big drum. And every time people came to visit, he would talk to them about how he created this, this you know, um, pesticide. Police are yet to ascertain a motive for the callous murder, but say it may have been gang related. It has been a while that we have not dealt with him for any crime, so yes, uh, he was not a person that we uh, had arrested recently for any crime. So likely it was think? just his past catching up to him? Uh, probably that is it. We have not ascertained a clear motive. Uh, all we know is that he was in that era and was targeted. While Lewis spent a major portion of his life walking on eggshells, Erskine says that in recent months, he began worrying less about that and accepted that it was inevitable. I remember saying to him, Baba, you know, um, you know, that that's not friendly territory to you. And he would say to me, Miss D, then guys respect me and I respect them and I'm not about hate anymore and we have to create peace and love. And he said that to me several times, right? So he felt very comfortable being in that area. Um, he felt that he had some type of, he had developed some type of camaraderie with the, um, the guys in the area. And, and he also used to say to me, you know, when my time come, my time come, Misty, um, he was prepared. Police are searching for suspects in the area and say they continue to brace for possible retaliation. Vigil Alvarez, Love News.